Woo. Good morning guys, my name is Dylan Brayshaw, welcome to the vlog. Um, today I'm going to be talking about camera settings. Told you that I'm on my own. But first, let's go have a look at the surf and we can see if we can shoot today. Let's do this. Oh, I can't see. Today there's about uh, one meter of swell and it's also northwesterly winds, so barely isn't very good when there's westerly winds. Okay, so the camera settings I'm going to be showing you obviously just depends on the conditions that you shoot. So I usually try to wake up early and shoot sunrises and um, the first two or three hours of the morning. I mean that's normally when the best light light is. So um, the settings will completely um, depend on the conditions. So just take that into consideration. Um, also it depends what you're going to shoot as well. So if you're going to be shooting surfers on the wave then um, you've got to use certain settings. If you're going to be shooting empty waves, if you're going to be shooting underwater, all these different scenarios will need different settings. So I'll show you one that I'm going to use today. I'm going to weigh my secrets, but not really, because they're really obvious camera settings, but just little things that will help make you not process your image in post-processing, you know, so you don't try to get a good image while you're out there so you don't have to process it. That's what I normally try to aim for. Yeah, it looks really choppy, but we'll check it out anyway. It's a bit of wind on it because of that stupid northwesterly. Okay, yeah, check it out. I don't know if you can see it. As you can see, it's not too flash out there. So I'm going to tell you the camera settings and then head out and get a quick shot before the wind changes. So let, let's get to it. So I usually use, I'm using the, the 24 to 105 mil lens. And so with the longer lens, this is what I usually use. I use aperture priority. Yeah. Then I, I, I change the aperture. I go, if it gets, starts to get brighter, I start, you know, change making it smaller or making it larger the number and then ISO I can adjust that usually I, I keep adjusting it as the camera needs it and so what I do is I take a photo and then I look at the um, shutter speed and then if the shutter speed is about a thousandth of a second that's sort of what I need to be a sharp photo so but you can get some nice slower shutter shots of blurry um, backgrounds with the surface really sharp um, and then I can also go through and I change my exposure compensation. If I want some nice dark images with some really overexposed spots, that's what I'd use. Um, don't use the flash compensation thing. Um, don't use that. My white balance, so I'll change this as, it ch as the light changes. I'd go from cloudy to shade to some daylight. So there's no clouds today, so I'm using daylight. The white balance, um, yeah, well that sort of sorts that out. Um, this is the light lighting enhancer. I just leave it on the middle. Um, that's the cards. I usually have two cards in there. I got my compact flash, which is 16 gigs, and that's really, really fast. Then I've got an SD card, which is pretty fast, but I can't get my um, my shutter burst rate higher high on that on the, the second card on that card. So I use that card most of the time always shoot on raw you've got more control in post-processing um, AI servo so this is my focus so this will focus as the surfer moves on the wave so yeah these settings are basically just for taking photos of surfers on waves um, where to go okay and this is the good spot metering so I use the center spot metering this is really good because it ex measures the light directly on the surfer and then that will um, expose my photo correctly because usually if it, when I shoot here in the morning it's backlit so that's why I always use spot metering very very handy okay next thing is um, obviously high speed continuous um, shutter um, um, bursts so that's the best one for this 
and that's yeah so that that's pretty much uh, my camera setting set up for shooting in the morning and shooting surfers so yeah let's get out there now before this wind gets worse wax the port up so remember I just wax it so it keeps the bit of water off it and this is candle wax and then just gotta make sure there's no bloody sand on this buff it out a bit and that'll keep the water drops off the bloody lands done let's do it when I'm looking at you Baby, when I'm looking at you no. When I'm looking at you Baby, give it all to you Baby, you session wasn't too bad it was actually pretty good I got a few good shots of the surfers around the point and um, so that gives you a sort of illustration of what um, those settings can do um, I do color correct them on my computer so I'll just enhance the shadows if you can't see a surfer's face or if they're too dark the raw files are really good for doing that for enhancing the shadows so it, it keeps a lot of information in the raw yeah actually I'll see in the footage when I put my head under the water I could actually hear whales calling it was really cool like you could hear the whales actually calling under the water so let's see if you can hear it in the footage now Yeah, I've never, this winter I want to get some photos of whales, I have to get photos of whales. Sometimes they swim really close to shore, so I might swim out and try to get some photos of them. But I have to be pretty lucky to be able to see that, to be, be, to be in the right place at the right time. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any other questions about settings. I'll try to give you a quick rundown every time I go out on what settings I use, um, because it, it different. I use different settings for different lenses, obviously, and um, different conditions. So, yeah, hit me up in the comments if you want to know any other settings, um, if you have any other questions. Yeah, just to make sure, I don't know everything about photography and these settings I'm also learning. But these, some of these settings, like the meter mode, the center meter mode, that's really helped me in getting a lot more shots and exposing, getting the right exposure for those shots. So, yeah, hit me up if you need any need to know any other questions um, but yeah my name is Dylan Brayshaw I'm a surf photographer on the Gold Coast um, be sure to subscribe to my channel and yeah I hope to see you out in the water cheers dudes what up dudes we're at the beach again and I'm gonna see if I can get another session in like yesterday Tide's too high. Yeah, I reckon I'll go and hit, hit up another spot I know. So yeah, let's go there now. Okay, so I'm at my second spot. Um, the tide, oops, oops, 
the tide is okay so I'm gonna try head, head out now and take some pictures of the shore break I've got the 15 mil on I got the dome cut housing on the dome port and oh shit, why is this falling off oh that's why and I've got the focus set to about one meter so I'm gonna see if this I can have the best of both worlds underwater and on top um, yeah let's hope it works uh, yeah and I'm running out of battery so I don't know if I'll have enough battery to record everything so we'll see